The R-Series 4K Mini PTZ with stealth strobe lights and a siren now comes with auto tracking. Huge news, let's go ahead and hop on the web interface and check it out. If you haven't already seen it, go ahead and check out the Mini PTZ video we did on this camera. There's a link for it in the description down below. You can also click on the card up above. But yeah, check out that video. We go over the specs and features, um, talk about AI powered intelligent events, how to pair it with active deterrence. It's a pretty cool video. But real quick, what we need to do to get the updated firmware is we'll have to go to Nelly's website, um, look up the R Series 4K Mini PTZ, go ahead and click on it, scroll all the way down to the download section, click on it and it should be the most recent firmware update available. Go ahead and download that. Next up, go to device settings on the web interface. Click on system maintenance upgrade. Okay, down where it says path, click on the three dots. Go to where the new update is, find the download, click on the .sw file, and then press open. Then upgrade, hit okay. You're gonna go ahead and put in your password for the camera, hit OK, and the system upgrade is in progress now. Once the upgrade is fully complete, your device will restart. The camera will be given a new IP address now. Go to the R-Series device config tool and then click on the new IP address. Next put in your username and password and you have your new update. Let's go ahead and check out the auto tracking. Click on device settings. Let's go down to AI setup. Click on pedestrian and vehicle. This is gonna be the event that you can use auto tracking with. Go ahead and enable it. As you can see, detection target, um, it'll always have a default. It has to have something. So currently it has pedestrian. You can do pedestrian and motor vehicle, pedestrian and non-motor vehicle as well. You can do just that. Um, to go ahead and change the default, you would have to click on both of the boxes you wanna exclude and then non-motor vehicle will be the new default. You can do that as well for a uh, motor vehicle. But we're gonna go ahead and just set up pedestrian. I'm gonna be the one walking through the camera view. So we're gonna see how the auto tracking does. Um, real quick, you can adjust the sensitivity uh, 1 through 100. We currently have it at 60. You are able to customize as well the minimum pixel or maximum pixel that is picked up by the camera. We're going to go ahead and just leave that at default. Let's scroll down. Here we can see the detection mode. There are two options, hybrid and motion mode. The difference is hybrid mode detects stationary and moving targets and motion mode detects moving targets only. Um, we're gonna just leave it on motion mode. Right now we have it set where anything that is on the live view will be detected because the detection area is full screen, but you can have user defined and you can make it a smaller box if you want. You can make it um, whatever area you want to be triggered. We're just gonna go ahead and do full screen for this example. So now that we have the event enabled to turn on auto tracking itself, Go down to motion, click on pedestrian and vehicle. Here we can see there's something link auto PTZ tracking, toggle that on, hit save. Now that we have that turned on, I'm gonna go ahead and walk through the frame. Let's go to the live view, make it full screen and we'll test this out. And that's pretty much all there is. Give this video a like if you found it helpful. We'd love to hear from you guys on what you were thinking about this new feature. So go ahead and drop your comments below. Subscribe for more awesome security content. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.